Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Just an interesting video this time is, I'm doing a novel review if you don't mind. Uh, just a couple of these actually, um, I was thinking of a plan to do anyway, and I thought, just why not, just doing for the chance actually. As you see, I'm on location, I'm on a train station anyway, just me from a train, really. That's why I'm wearing a mask as well, so first time we've seen me wearing a mask, but here we go. So I'm on location anyway, no one's around, so it's perfectly fine. Indeed. So, let's talk about Just War by Lance Parkin. Technically, this is a Doctor Who novel, this is, and it's part of the Virgin New Adventures line. It was published in January 1996, and it's number 46, this is. Um, but it's actually a really favourite, a, a, a personal favourite among many people. It's one of the greatest new adventures out there, really, in terms of, like, a, a debut novel as well, written by the legendary writer Lance Parkin, of course. What to do last one? Of course, Dying Days did Cold Fusion, did Father Time. He's done a few, and the last one being the Gallifrey Chronicles. As well so what well, he's done stuff for big finish as well he's just like proactive of course and doing the you know for the off media stuff really and which is actually pretty good and obviously people favor like and do like him his writing of course indeed so his first one just war uh 3941 during the second world war when the Ger when the germans take over parts of mainly saint guernsey really and bits of the british isles um the Doctor's in suspicion of, like, these invisible bombers that the Germans have obtained, or somehow managed to create. And in doing so, actually, it's actually later revealed that he had a conversation with one, some one scientist in Cairo in 1936 during his adventures with Mel Bush. And apparently, it's, apparently they have, like, conversations to talk about owls, of the senses and actually of the perspective, hearing everything, you know, what owls tend to do in a more scientific terms, really. And obviously, he, the scientists he, he was talking to doing this racing bit they they encounters grasps onto the idea and actually thinks, you know, actually we can probably adapt that to fighters, really, you know, using the war. And so that it's basically the Doctor's doing, really, how it's how the events of the story happened, really. There were some brilliant scenes, of course, indeed, with the one scene I like is actually when the Doctor gets kidnapped and he, he's ended up in this in this sort of care of, I forgot the name, of course, Wolven something, I don't know what, okay, it's way for the German names, but the main sort of Nazi lieutenant or captain, really, and he ends up taking him to this abandoned hotel. It sort of keeps him as like a sort of a semi guest, but wants to know the answers as well. You know, in place for the doctor, of course. You know, tries to welcome him, of course, to be kind and everything, but also just demands answers what he knows and what they can use him for, like a scientific advisor in some cases. Hmm, indeed. You've also got the companions, of course, which at this point he had three companions. So you had Bernie Summerfield, who was introduced in the war in 1902. So sort of the main the main companion for the Virgin New Adventures, based on Emma Thompson. You've also got Ross Forrester and Chris Quedge, appeared in the original Sin in 1995. And they're sort of like two adjudicators, like just like police officers really. And they basically just care, you know, just like well one's like sort of hardened and more you know sort of professional, the other Chris is more more rookie and a bit of an idiot really, I would probably say, in terms of you know, he's, he's like these sort of the blonde idiots of, I don't know, I'm trying to think of any uh, companions that are sort of similar really, but his, his characterization is like that, you know, it's like a, it's a rookie of man who goes on these weird adventures, going on stuff like that, he's a bit of a, I'm trying to think, uh, it's a bit idiotic really, but it's interesting really, Ross is more hard and a bit more straightforward in her professional career really, so that's pretty interesting, and Bernice is just Bernice really. Uh, she gets tortured by Nazis in the story, and this leads there. Jo uh, Ross falls in love with a guy called a man called George, and obviously during the time they tend to use, obviously with Ross's skin and creature of black woman in this one, they, they sort of use that thing in toy soldiers as well, in some regard, really. Well, there we go. Um, I had a really good reading experience of it actually, because I remember it's one of the early ones I've got actually in terms. I think it's the. Uh, the fourth one I ever bought. Just what this novel was the very fourth, the fourth one I bought from. I got from eBay actually. Bought it with the Also People by Ben Aronovich. Um But it's really. I just really had a good time reading it. Really, just interesting novel. And if you really want to pick it up and just try and find it, quite hard to find sometimes. To so try and find a decent copy. Yeah, but it's definitely worth the read. Hope you think it's all right. I just think it's a really good novel, and I just had a good time reading it. I did. So there we go. Down to its layers. Down to. Parkins characterization of the Seven Doctor, Doctor Bernice, the characters themselves. It all fits, it does. It fits nicely. And I really do enjoy it. I had a really good time reading it, I did. Thank you guys for watching. As always, see you for the next video and goodbye.